Okay, here we have an amorphous solar panel um, battery charging kit. Picked this up from Harbor Freight. It was around $20. Um, we got the solar panel here. It has a nice hard plastic bezel. Pretty heavy duty. Screws on the back, so you should be able to take it apart. Um, they say if you want to weatherproof it, you can run uh, silicone caulk around the edge. Um, at a later date, we're going to be tearing this apart and using it in a project. Got the wire going down to the charging unit that you plug into the 12 volt battery um, outlet in your car. And now we're just going to check the voltage and uh, check the amperage on it. Yep. Before we do that, you can see that it's got a little light. Can you see it blinking in the lens? Yep. It blinks, I guess that lets you know that there's enough voltage going, there's enough sun hitting the solar panel that it's producing some kind of voltage. So we're about to see what that voltage is. Here we have the gauge set at 25 volts. And we're probably getting about 20 now. Yeah. Maybe a little more than 20. Yeah, just a hair over 20. Just a hair. That's not too bad considering it's not directly in the, the best spot. It's and kind of it's cloudy there. outside as well, so. Yeah. It's pretty cloudy. Okay, so we're getting a little over 20 volts open circuit voltage. Um, they advertise on the back of this 22 volts open circuit, 22.25. Which um, is well within the range that we're getting. Now let's uh, hook up the amperage and test that out. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. So to measure current, you need a resistance. Here we chose a 100 ohm resistor. Okay, we're going to put it in the circuit. Change the leads to amps. The dial to 50 milliamps. And we're going to get some kind of current here. You can see we're somewhere between, depending on the sun, between 25 and 35 milliamps. Right now we're almost at 30 milliamps. See, and if you play with the panel, you get a little more current, more or less current, depending on the precise angle of the solar panel. So we maxed out around 35 milliamps, and we did a couple quick calculations. That at 35 milliamps in overcast weather, using these formulas, V equals IR, the current equals voltage over resistance and from that we can come up with wattage equals current squared times resistance and we have a range 25 milliamps to 35 milliamps and if you plug all these numbers in you get uh, 0 0.0625 watts when you're at 25 milliamps and a little over a tenth of a watt at 35 milliamps so let's say if it wasn't cloudy and the sun was a lot brighter, we got maybe double this, optimistically 70 milliamps, this number would be significantly higher and you'd approach the advertised one watt, one and a half watt uh, rating on the box. But under these circumstances, we're getting literally a fraction of that. We're getting a tenth of that. Okay, and... Uh some other things, uh, the connector here can be kind of a pain in the ass, so you have to wiggle that around and make sure that's connected good. And only one side of this is actually grounded if you're actually trying to do tests yourself. Um, that side doesn't have any output. Um, so I guess we'll check back someday when it's nice and bright out. Um, we'll be putting this into a battery box. This will be trickle charging a battery and then we'll have a little power inverter running off that battery so we'll be able to have a little weatherproof box and be able to take that out in the woods or wherever we want to go and um, use it for alternating current. Okay, um, make sure you hit subscribe and check back for more videos.